Here we go, number 30. Find if the sine of theta is 3 fifths and the cosine of theta is positive, find the tangent of theta. Okay. First thing we want to do is draw a picture of this. Okay. So once we see that the sine of theta is positive, we should be thinking that theta can be in one of two places. It can be either where the sine's positive, which is in quadrant one, or quadrant two, right? But then we're given this other bit of information that the cosine of theta is positive, right? So that means that it has to be in quadrant one because cosine is negative back here. Okay, so that puts our, let me try and draw that a little bit better. It puts our angle theta in quadrant one, which is good because that's easy. Okay, so if the sine is three fifths, that means that's three and that's five. All right, if that's theta. So all I gotta do really to find the tangent is to find this right here, which I'll call x. Okay, and we know that the the relationship between x, y, and r goes like this: r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So we can pretty easily find what x is. 25 equals x squared. And you might even recognize this triangle, right? That is x squared would be equal to 16, and x is 4. It's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And then we know what the tangent of theta is. It's just y over x. Tangent of theta is y over x, which in this case is 3 over 4. And that's it for that one. Three fourths. Let's take a look at this next problem. It's a similar problem. We're given that we want the cosine and the cosecant. They're very similar, only we got a negative value. Okay, so we'll have to work with that a little bit more. We'll have to think about that a little bit more. Um, but again, I'm going to draw a picture which we always like to do. Okay, so the sign's negative, so that means we're in either quadrant three or four, right? But we take this other bit of information, the secant positive, or that's the same thing as saying the cosine's positive, right? Because the reciprocal doesn't change the sign, plus or minus sign. So where is sine negative and cosine positive? That happens over here. Okay, so that tells me that my angle, theta, ends up in quadrant four. That's where sine's negative and the secant or cosine is positive, okay? And by definition, sine's opposite over hypotenuse or y over r, I should say. So that should be 1 and that should be 4. And that, of course, is negative, okay? So very similar to the last problem, we have to figure out what the x value is. In this case, it should be 16 equals x squared plus 1 squared. So x squared is 15, making x root 15. So this one will be a little bit more messy because we have a root, but that's okay. All right, now we're in good shape. The cosine of theta is simply x over r, root 15 over 4, check. The cosecant of theta, we actually didn't have to do any work for. I don't even need my picture because I know the cosecant is reciprocal of the sine, so I just reciprocate negative one-fourth and I get negative four.